I think we had better to start anyway. We are late. I think you all are very tired after a long day, I think, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Um, thank you very much for staying. It's, a, I hope, a very quite short uh, side event, but I mean, uh, as far as I'm concerned, this is one of the most uh, important target of my presidencies of ISPRA, as well as the, um, the, um, my, let's say, job of uh, to be the national representative uh, within the Copernicus program at the European level. So I, I honestly, I don't know if I can have my presentation. It's not, it's not, I don't, I, I won't go through my presentation. I leave it with you. It just describes the, the Copernicus program and how we act within the Copernicus program. Uh, Italy is very active, uh, is really supporting, strongly supporting the Copernicus program at the European level, as well as to use, uh, as you, I hope, could see, or you will see, the, um, the, the use of uh, satellite data and information, and I stress this point, not only data, but information of different levels, uh, at the national level. We actually, actually rely very much on satellite's results and uh, we mix them along with other information that we get on the ground as well from modeling and so on. So uh, just to give you a very short, I don't know if it works. May not, I don't know. Doesn't work. Okay. Not in this way. I mean, I don't know how I can. <laughs> well. Okay. Very, very quickly, I, I want to go through. I don't know what's happened. That's it. You can read through my presentation. I'll, I'll leave it with you. And there are the major, the major targets and uh, the original principle um, of. Copernicus program, the only thing I want to say is that the Copernicus program is led by an, an European regulation and a national regulation. So it's not just a scientific, let's say, environment. It's also a scientific environment, but it's just uh, a program just to give services to the state members. And services, as I said, using data and, sat in data and, in, in, and information on coming from satellite constellations as well as platforms and so on. It's just divided into parts. One is the, the space segment and the other is the ground segment. But uh, just going very quickly, we are now at three, let's say, satellites of the, the Sentinels constellation. And uh, we hope that in 2018, they will be five or, or something like that. Not not yet uh, six as uh, as it is supposed to to reach. I mean, the, the six satellites, a constellation of six satellites. Um, and uh, the most important thing is, but the most important thing is that uh, you have um, a, let's say, uh, a, a, um, let's say services part which is not just the ground segment as only, but is are really application platforms uh, looking at land monitoring, emergency management, atmosphere monitoring, marine environment monitoring, security service, and climate change. The last two are atmosphere and climate change, as you can imagine. Very quickly, this is just uh, um, the general overview. They are led by what we call entrusted entities, they are official uh, European bodies, more or less. Uh, they all of them, starting from ESA, which is in charge of all the satellites constellation and also the delivery of data, the raw data and processed data as well. But uh, also you have, for example, JRC, 
um, the joint research center at, at the European level as well as the um, European Environmental Agency and so on. Uh, going through, you can read through that. This is the general budget um, leading to 2002, 2020 and um, doesn't work. Yes. You can access to the data at the moment through, um, let's say, web facilities or something like that. I go through very quickly. What I want to say that, but we are not using only satellites, only Sentinels, constellation um, data information. We are using also the national missions, like uh, the Cosmos Sky Med, as um, the president of ASI told us uh, during the welcome uh, ceremony. And uh, we, we use, we use uh, this information in a mixed way, just gathering them together and just mixing the information in modeling, in complex, in comple really complex high-level modeling. Very quickly, mainly we use uh, Cosmos Camera for interferometry. But what we want to do, we are, what we have been building at the moment is a, a, general, um, a general national platform on which you can rely for not only data information, but also for high-level applications. And you see some of them this, this evening, um, that we, some of them, actually we presented them at, at European level as well, and we have applications which are not experimental or uh, pre-operative applications, but uh, are applications that we use every day, a daily, a daily application, uh, daily usage application um, of these tools. I mean, that's quite a very important, on which we rely on our responsibility. Just to give you just a, a sort of view of the complexity, this is a very simple scheme of the, what we call the collaborative ground, like the extended and the distributed collaborative ground segment, which means that he is, is just supporting, as I said, um, several um, applications platforms as well as this, it, it's able just to distribute the results and the products to the different communities, starting from my community to the community of civil protection, the, for example, infrastructure and transport community and so on, the agriculture community and so on. Just I give you some, some sites about uh, the land service, which is very important for, for my system, the national system for the, the environmental protection. Uh, you have different, different uh, products that you can use in hydrology. We use that in hydrology for either the, um, the physical uh, the physical um, variable as well as for the chemical and the bio variable, which means that, for example, we are able just to go from 20 meter to 20 meter to 5 meter to five, to five, per 5 meter uh, just to understand the transition, for example, between the, the, the urban and the rural areas and so on, and just to, to understand doesn't work. Sorry. Let's see. Yes. To understand, for example, how the urban sprawls, the urban sprawl behaves, or, for example, the soil consumption trend in Italy. As you can see, it's a big problem for us. For example, in this moment, uh, more or less seven square meter has been transformed, has been computer uh, consumed, and now another another seven square meter, and so on. So it's a huge problem for us, especially because this, this happens uh, along the coastline. So we have to, to cope with this situation for uh, risk mitigation as well as civil protection action as well. Oh, but also we are able just to build up the uh, habitat uh, and biodiversity evolutions on the ground, and we use that just to, to understand the impact of the human activities. Giving just a, a very short sight to the emergency, it's a long way through, starting from 2004. Paola Pagliara here shared with me 
and still is, she is sharing with me this uh, venture. But very quickly, again, doesn't work. Very quickly, these are more or less uh, just a very short sight to the, the, um, the characteristic of the portfolio, the portfolio of the Copernicus Emergency Response Core Service. This is the, just a very short history and uh, not to really, it's, a, it's an odd presentation, I've been using that. I mean, you forgive me, but I mean, I hadn't any time to organize one for all of us to, tonight. And um, I want to end with this. Well, we don't have one risk at a time. We have a combination of risks. So we have to face the combination of risks. So we have been uh, working very much on building a downstream services which is able just to mix the modeling as well as the data, in situ data as well as satellite data, just to give information about the, the, the complex, the, let's say, multiple risk scenarios, which is quite an important application. Uh, I don't say anything about that, but it, it Actually, the important thing is that it uses all the products coming from Copernicus as well from the national missions and Copernicus core services. So that's quite an important, it's very number crunching consuming, can, you can imagine, as well as big data managing and so on. Um, just a very short sight, this is a flood the 9th of November 2014 in Genoa, my city. I was born there, actually not very far from that place. And uh, it's quite usual for, for me, for my culture, to have to, to cope, to face flooding in my town. And uh, now there are some intervention. Uh, the, um, the government has decided to carry on. And uh, this is actually the situation, the simulated situation of, and the real situation um, with exactly the same scenario. What we, we should expect is more than one, the 100 million of euros of damage, but also 12,000, more than 12,000 people involved in the flood. With this intervention, we are able ja, and we are able to simulate the effect, the positive effect of such a, such an intervention, you get, for example, um, a, reduce, a reduction of the, the risk and the reduction of damages. So from, uh, from 100 million to 10 million and from 12,000, this is the most important thing, from 12,000 people to down to seven, more or less 800 people involved in the flood. So with this, this start, um, this start, I think that I leave the floor to Laura Candela from ASI, just to give an, a very short overview of uh, how ASI, the National Space Agency, supports us in this sort of approach. Okay, thank you very much indeed.